ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी संस्कृति नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यासम तथो जय मुदीरिए भद्रेशु नित्यं भगवती नंद नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण So we can start. Anybody would like to recite this shloka? Read translation. I can read this one. Okay. Please go ahead. Brahma tejo vinir mukte. Brahma tejo vinir mukte. Atma jay sah Krishna ya. Atma jay sah Krishna ya. प्रयाणाभिमुखम कृष्णम प्रयाणी भिमुखम कृष्णम इदम आह प्रतासती इदम आह प्रतासती ट्रांसलेशन दस से फ्रॉम द रेडिएशन ऑफ द ब्रह्मास्त्र कुंती द चेस डिवोटी ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड हर फाइव सन्स एंड द्रौपदी addressed lord krishna as he started for home parpat kunti is described here in as sati or chaste due to her unalloyed devotion to lord krishna lord shri krishna her mind will now be expressed in the following prayers for lord krishna a chaste devotee of the lord does not look to others namely any other living being or demi god even from deliverance from danger that was all along the characteristic of the whole family of the pandavas they knew nothing except krishna and therefore the lord was always was also always ready to help them in all respects and in all circumstances that is the transcendental nature of the lord he reciprocates the dependence of the devotee one should not therefore look for help from imperfect living beings or demigods but one should look for all help from lord krishna who is competent to save his devotees such a day chaste devotee also never asks the lord for help but the lord out of his own accord is always anxious to render it hari krishna here a very profound observation is mentioned that lords true devotees never seek help from any other source than lord shri krishna himself for them no matter what the circumstances they will come to the shelter of shri krishna's lotus feet and because they are under his shelter lord shri krishna will inevitably help them and protect them whether they ask for that help or not because they are under his shelter and the true devotee knows that the lord is there to help him he does not ask have to ask for the help because the family of the pandavas 
were all surrendered unto Krishna. They knew him as the uh, Paramatma and they were always under his protection. So, whether the Pandavas asked for the help or not, Sri Krishna always helped them. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, nicely summarized. Um, does any other devotee have any other observation or comment or anything to add? Please add. Hare Krishna. So actually one of the things was just coming to my mind for the last few days as we were reading this is um, is one of the stories that, that we heard. I think I heard it in you know one of the Akbar Birbal, but, but, but basically I think it, uh, it uh, works uh, very well here is uh, one time uh, you know somebody asked uh, the, the king asked uh, Birbal that you believe in Hindu religion, right? So answer that, you know, the other day we heard that that temple was broken or something like that. Or, um, uh, oh no, he, he actually gave an example that how, um, this is like, a, you know, I, I'm not ex exactly remembering, but just to explain the context, I can use an example. It might not be the 100% correct uh, story. But basically like uh, example, like why did um, Narsim Bhagwan come himself to save Prahlad, why why is the you know why did the why did he is so if he is if your God is so powerful, then why did he have to come himself to save his devotee, right? So that was the question asked by the king to Birbal, and you know in all these Akbar Birbal stories, the Birbal has to think, and he's in a bad situation, so he has to figure out a way to to convince the king as to why. Uh, the the God, even though he is the most almighty, has to come by himself to save his devotee uh, by, you know, such a, you know, sometimes which may look like a simple thing and he comes and saves his devotee or helps his devotee. So, next day, the people thinks of something and takes the whole royal family on a boat. And uh, what happens is the king's wife is holding the baby and there are lots of you know guard and other people there and what he does is he pushes the baby into the water like um and and you know everybody is just what what happened what just happened and the king is like aghast and he immediately jumps in the water to save and it's actually when he comes up it's actually a doll Okay, it's not the baby, it's a, it's a doll and you know, Birbal had arranged this with the queen. So then he, so king is very angry, he's like, why, why, why did you play this joke on me? So by now I think all the devotees would have understood that the point was that when somebody so dearly loves, you have a near and dear one that you love a lot, then you do not wait for somebody else to come and help them or you do like you know in that in this situation all the guards and all the other people or his lower subordinates who probably knew swimming much better than the king himself were there who could have went and saved um, you know the the doll or the prince in this case what the king thought was the prince but he himself dove in the water to save so similarly so so he explained to the king and then king understood that how the lord comes to save his most beloved devotees. So, you know, as we were last few days, we had been talking about, uh, you know, how Uttara came to the Lord and and uh, Krishna, without waiting for anything else, he protected with his Sudarshan uh, and he himself protected the womb from the Brahmastra. The story was coming to my mind again and again. So I thought I'll share that. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, uh, thank you so much for that. That um, explains a lot. Um, there is a question that comes to the mind of people nowadays that in Kaliuga, why doesn't 
Krishna come to save his devotees that he has promised uh, that whenever there is rise in his religion and so when it was corona time everybody was lamenting oh Krishna has promised this in Bhagavad Gita why doesn't he come now this is uh, this is the maximum of religion or uh, what not so many uh, so many facebook posts and what was not going around and a lot of people lost their faith uh, that oh krishna promised this and he didn't he didn't save us so couple uh, so with, before i share my thoughts on this would anyone like to share their thoughts on this why does do you think that krishna comes and saves us uh, or devotees even these days or was it just pandavas or um, uh, what, what how can we explain this to some somebody asks one of us uh, that you know i do not believe this krishna says yada yada hi dharmasya or he says paritranai sadhu naam i don't see any paritranai sadhu naam happening how would you try to explain that would anyone like to take a venture at that question Pataji, i think it's very difficult to find pure devotees in a kaluga uh, and uh, it's happening to everybody so krishna specifically said that he will come when there is a harm of dharma so there is no, no harm of dharma during corona time and it's not and the second thing that it's not harming, uh, there's no pure devotee that we can say that, you know, because a pure devotee always accepts whatever Krishna's, you know, whatever is happening, he accepts it as a Krishna's mercy. But the one who does not have faith in Lord during the difficult time, they have this tendency of blaming or just calling. So uh, that's what I, I think, Mataji. So. Yes, yes, Mataji. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, that was uh, a lot of um, explanation. So, yeah, that was one point. That so, first of all, uh, you know, we always remember God only in the difficult times, trouble times. When we are happy, normal life, we don't remember um, Krishna at all. So then, people will, when whenever they're in difficulty, they'll say, "Oh, God didn't come and save us." But you were never uh, taking his shelter ever. You never uh, were, you know, crying out to him, praying to him, like like we are supposed to every day. Uh, remember Krishna. We never did that. So if so, ye yathamam prapadinte, you never remembered him. So now, how come? So we are completely under the influence of three modes of material nature. So Maya is playing with us. Okay, so you are going to suffer all the adi devik, adi bhautik. Uh, and adhyatmic difficulties, calamities. So that's what uh, you're under the control of Maya and you are uh, suffering those three calamities that we are supposed to suffer according to our karmas uh, because we never took shelter of Krishna. Um, and those who do take shelter of Krishna, they don't care anyways even if the difficult time comes because difficult times don't seem that difficult to them because we always give the example, right, that difficulties will come to even devotees and everybody. But for devotees, it's like they are uh, riding in a, a Mercedes car on a bumpy road, whereas the other one is going in a bullock cart or on a, on a, you know, so in a bullock cart, he'll feel all the bumps. But in a Mercedes, uh, you know, he's not feeling any uh, bumps in the road at all. So because your um, shockers are so, uh, so good, so well oiled and maintained that you are that those devotees are not feeling the difficulty of the troubled times, number one. Number two, they're always under the shelter of Krishna. So even in those difficult times, they, they, they see this as Krishna as prasadam. They see difficult times as grace of Krishna. That, okay, you know, maybe even worse was supposed to happen to me. And this is, uh, this is probably a little bit less that Krishna is giving to me because I deserved even worse. So this is by grace of Krishna that I'm not suffering as much as I was supposed to suffer. And his faith becomes stronger in Krishna. So, uh, uh, so another person who is blaming Krishna in that time, a devotee is actually thanking Krishna at that time that, you know, Krishna, you saved me from a much harder time. I deserved even worse. So because of your grace, I'm not getting that bad. And you, you lessen my karmas and I'm getting only this much. So he's finding a way to strengthen his faith, whereas the other person is finding a way to make his, uh, to is finding a reason and excuse to find faults um, and um, 
get away from Krishna even further. He was never with Krishna anyways, and now he's finding even more excuses and reasons to get away. So, um, so that's, um, and then, and then another point that I wanted to make was, yes, Krishna still, just like he saved Uttara, just like he saved uh, uh, Draupadi, he comes and uh, saves us. Actually, if you, um, devotees, whenever they get out of a difficult time, they see Krishna's hand in that also. And there are so many stories, there are so many examples. If, if you remember a while back, many months back, there was a class given by His Grace uh, Shubhilas Prabhu on uh, when we were reading Seventh Canto about Nursing Dev. And he gave us five stories of modern times. This, this happened within the last 10 to 20 years, these stories of how people uh, were saved by Lord Narsimha himself came and they saw Nursing Dev. And there, you know, uh, uh, there, I mean, there are proofs of how nursing they've saved them. There is actually a story going around right now. I don't know if you have, any of you have seen this, but how uh, devotees were doing book distribution in US and they were being bullied by this um, uh, biker gang uh, somewhere in US. And um, um, they caught the bike bikers all, were always harassing these devotees. And one day, they caught hold of one devotee and started chasing him on, on their bikes. And he was cornered. He was standing against the wall and these bikers were surrounding him. And, you know, they're pulling his shikha and what, you know, just basically misbehaving. And, um, and suddenly they all started stepping away from him. He hid his, he, devotee was not, he was hiding his face and, and he suddenly s s could not hear anybody. And he realized that people are, these bikers are stepping away from him. And when he opened his eyes, they were very scared. They were almost shivering and they ran to their bikes and drove away very quickly. And the devotee just um, was just relieved that he was out of the situation, but he didn't know what, what saved him. Next day, he went to these bikers. He got the courage and went to these bikers. And as soon as the bikers saw him, they were very, very scared. Oh, this guy is approaching us. And they were about to run off again when he stopped one of them. Why are you running away from me? What happened yesterday? Why didn't you guys harass me? Uh, uh, you were about to almost kill me. What, what happened? Why did you run away? Um, he, and he said, you know, we didn't know that you could do this. You could pull this trick. He said, what trick did I pull? He said, you had this huge lion-like face on you and you were roaring at us. How did you do that? Um, some kind of magical trick you pulled and we, we don't want to mess with you. So let us go. So that, that was uh, oh, that's day. wonderful, Madhuji. I didn't know. Can you share the link? Yes, Madhuji, I'll share that. So that Very story has been nice. yeah. But uh, but I'm I'm just saying that actually, I mean, this is actually I mean very wonderful uh, event to have happened to anybody. But even if those wonderful things don't happen, even if we just get out of small scrapes and. Uh, small problems or e big difficulties or whatever, you know, devotees always see Krishna's hand in that. So, and that's how Krishna saves them. It is, uh, they are under the shelter of Krishna and it is always his arrangement by which they either get problem and their bhakti gets stronger or get out of problems. So that's all I wanted to share. Hare Krishna. And during this situation, Mother, you want to share something? Can I? Yes, Mataji, please. Yeah. Mataji, during this situation, I mean, uh, when uh, uh, this happened to uh, Pankaj Angri Prabhu, when he was uh, on his, uh, you know, deathbed, the last moments, and when this due to COVID, he was, you know, suffering, that moment also, it, it shows that how devotees never blame Krishna for anything. They just accept it, whatever comes on their way. It's like whenever this was happening to Pankaj Jangri Prabhu and he was the priest and a very great devotee of uh, um, Narsimha Dev. And that time I saw and I also realized this, that other people, when something was happening to their family, they were like blaming Bhagwan ki are kya chal raha hai, Bhagwan ne pata nahi kya kar diya hai, hamari to koi galti nahi hai, aadho ki wajah se to hampi bhugat rahe hai, se se. And then during that time, all the devotees were actually chanting Narsimha Kavaj. And then they were surrendering and uh, still relying on Krishna's mercy that it's okay. We can just pray to Krishna 
for the betterment that uh, we really wish that he you know he gets better but in case if something is not better when we should just chant krishna's name and accept it as his mercy and pang pankaj angri prabhu also was he was hospitalized and from there in calcutta he asked him to take back to the mayapur dham uh, with the oxygen and other things but the, that's how devotees are even if in their last moment they are not blaming uh, that you know i served you or i did that to you and now see what's happening with me they accept it as krishna's mercy so and other devotees also i mean in the group the people were forwarding this narsimha kavach reciting uh, you know uh, reading narsimha kavach and all that for um, um, prabhu ji's better health but even if that whatever happened what krishna wanted for him they accepted it and then moved on and this is how a devotee actually accepts a, a, a situation and it reminds me of uh, nitai sevni mata ji's lecture uh, in one lecture recently uh, she shared that her family and her husband her whole family like her two sons and her husband was were also infected uh, with the, this covid 19 and then she said that my son my older son asked that you know mom we do so much seva why is it happening to us why did it happen to us then mata ji said that you know you have faith in krishna uh, whatever happens may not uh, happen for good but whatever happens is uh, always happens for good so after some time she said that a week before that uh, last week of april i think 10 days before they were all down with covid 19 and uh, her husband was also i guess hospitalized or something and they, he got better and the uh, i think the day they came back after two days they had this uh, situation in india that nobody people were being hosp- uh, you know people uh, they were in hospital uh, they were uh, hospitalized and they were not getting the oxygen that time she actually told her son that see this was krishna's plan we are here we cannot deny the suffering but krishna always makes it better for the devotees so what if uh, this was happened to us a week later so look at the situation now so uh, devotees are always always satisfied whatever they get and they always remember krishna so yeah it reminded me thank you thanks i just wanted to share this mataji hare krishna Hare Krishna thank you it was a nice uh, realization the nice uh, uh, discussion we bold any other um, any other comments or um, realizations by the devotees Hare Krishna yes uh you see the devotees of the lord always know that this body is perishable it has to perish one day for one reason or other so they just take it as uh their fate designed by krishna as a result of their karmas and uh, whether it is a difficult time or a good time they take it as uh, god's mercy if it is a difficult time if they think that they have to leave the body they again surrender to krishna that we am i should go back to my god so bodily suffering for a devotee does not mean much at that time also his mind is fixed upon the law like i remember that bhajan tere phoolon se bhi pyar tere kaanton se bhi pyar jo bhi tu dena chahe de de sarkar duniya ke tarah they know that this world has to they have to leave the world one day so why should they limit that hari krishna Hare Krishna. Yes. So, so for themselves as well as 
the associates that or people that we associate with it is the same thing because sometimes it is easy for us to to accept any suffering on us but even but but it is more difficult for us to detach ourselves from so we can think that oh no i am you know it's it's i feel and this is just me i feel that it's easier to have any bodily surface, uh, suffering and think about that you know i am this soul not this body and it's not easy for me at all to do that but i'm just saying that i feel it may be easier to do that versus say that this person i know is suffering or is leaving the body and then realize that it's actually the soul and just they are just leaving the body because we are so conditioned and with the relationships we make it is uh, it becomes more difficult to understand that so we may not blame god when the suffering is on us or when we are um close to leaving the body or anything like that we has never is not happened yet so i don't know i can just i can't i can just think about it that maybe um i can try or try to prepare ourselves for that consciousness but it's still more difficult to relate or do this when it is for a close one and i've seen that with other people also that they are more easily able to understand this concept when it's on themselves when they are in same difficulty but then when it comes oh why did this happen to this person god what are you doing like we always blame god like that so so in that situation also we need to understand and remember that it is the same thing that for that person also this limited time on this earth everybody comes you know uh, whoever takes birth has to has to die and we should we should try to remember that and remember that it's just the soul that is taking this body for a while and it's and the soul has to pass on so there's so uh, something else to think about for all of us hari krishna So we'll move on to the next shloka. So I think my next one is coming from these prayers. If you want to start to start tomorrow. Yes, I think uh, we can start from tomorrow. Uh, any other thoughts? Any other by any other devotees? Suresh Prabhu is here today. Suresh Prabhu, please. Any thoughts uh, uh, that you? would like to share with us hari krishna prabhu ji tanur pram hal guru ji shri guru and goranga sorry prabhu ji mai to sun raha hu i am just listening i am outside oh. i mean my garden that's why <laughs> so so keep going prabhu ji any uh, any few words you would like to share for us <laughs> <laughs> Prabhu ji, you are you guys are doing great, great service, Prabhu ji. I am so fallen. I am not able to involve myself. Just listening. So I think in a couple days I'll be free. Then I can join. Sure, Prabhu. Waiting. I I keep waiting to hear nectar from your mouth. <laughs> so I am so fallen, Prabhu ji. Devo. Um. Devo. Devo. Okay, and uh, anybody else? Anita Mata Ji, would you like to share anything, or um, Nirmala Mata Ji? Before we end. No, I was listening. I think everybody already covered everything. I don't have anything more okay. to add. Rebo. Hey Krishna. Is Hare somebody Hare. sharing? I can't hear anything. no we just uh, i was just checking with the devotees if they have any any uh, thoughts rakshan mata ji's hand is still up maybe it is from earlier but is is it in yes prabhu ji from earlier okay okay um i can share if you want i can tell another quick story about uh one more quick story like the other one Yes. Yes, Mata Ji, please. Now we have missed the first one, so we have to tell it later. But we should would love to hear this one. 
okay okay so this you know it is very nice to hear when uh, you hear stories of how uh, krishna came to save the devotees right so i'll just share another quick story that i heard so um, this happened in russia this lady was walking um, on the street late at night uh, by herself and uh, some guy started uh, uh, like following her and this is you know very dark street and she got scared and started walking really fast can you hear me yes can everybody hear okay so uh, she started walking really fast uh, trying to get away from him and he, she heard his footsteps also getting really fast so then she um, almost you know she was very scared now she was a devotee and uh, she started you know uh, softly chanting hari krishna maha mantra to herself and started walking really really fast and suddenly she could not hear the uh, footsteps of the man behind could not hear anymore so she turned around and saw that the man uh was actually was walking away from her like really fast going away from her so she said a very you know quietly a very big thank you to krishna and walked to her house next day as she was reading the newspaper and she saw that a girl uh, you know just like her age somebody else was um robbed and killed, killed uh in that in that same street later that night so um so she uh, and she saw that the same person was caught in in her uh, killing so she was very surprised why did this guy stop chasing me and uh, now kill this somebody else what what happened who was this guy why did he leave me alone and went to this one so she went to meet him she went to see him in the jail and uh, um and she said do you remember me you were uh, following me that other night ha huh? uh, why were you following me so she asked him several questions she she interrogated him almost and uh, finally she said so why did you um, you were coming after me then i could not hear your steps any and when i turned around you were going away and later i realized you had uh, you know robbed somebody else and killed why did you do that he said because i thought uh, i was going to uh, you know uh, i was coming after you because i thought you were alone then suddenly i saw there were two two boys one on either side of you hmm uh, two a very uh, you know tall strong stout uh, boys and one next each next to you so i got scared and that's why i went away initially i thought you were alone so she said oh but i was alone i didn't have any boys with me and then she suddenly realized that this must have been a krishna and balram because she was chanting <laughs> hari krishna maha mantra to herself and so krishna and balram probably came to save her uh, and who else could have these boys been because she was really alone so so she said she told that guy you know you are really lucky he said how am i lucky i got caught and in the jail now he said because you got she said because you got to see those two boys so that was a very inspiring story i thought hari krishna hari bol very nice okay so we'll finish over here for today and then we'll end uh start tomorrow again